three, two, one. Smile, you're in the social media Olympics. One of the big partners of these games, Coke, catching the moment for visitors to savour the flavour of the games and to share it immediately with friends and followers. They've poured into the park and they've poured out their thoughts, 400 of them a second related to London 2012. Inane, wide-eyed, grumpy even. In all cases, they're spreading the word. Instead of I was there, it's I am here. It's freedom of information, it's freedom of expression. And fittingly at the Olympics, it's the athletes taking centre stage. Yes, on the track, and yes, online. These are pictures we only see because of social media. USA basketball stars opting for public transport. Venezuela's champion fencer showing off his medal. The unofficial condoms in the athlete's village. And who's this in the company of three Swedish athletes? The darker side is still there too. British diver Tom Daly lost his father last year. He was the subject of venomous tweets by a so-called Twitter troll for not winning and two athletes have been sent home for racist remarks. For good or bad, everyone can have their say. Andy Meir is blogging as he goes on issues outside the actual sports stadiums, telling this multi-billion dollar event just as he sees it. I think what people have learned over the last four years even is that trying to do corporate communication via social media just isn't going to work. In fact, it could be more damaging to a brand than, than beneficial. So people want to have direct personal communications with people. And I think those that get it understand that and, and it enriches their experience as well to have that communication. It's proving a tough race for the IOC to keep up with social media, but it's aware it's a crucial part of its future. We can't ignore it, we have to work with it and, and actually from what we know, even from our kind of uh, big TV partners and so on, social media is enhancing the experience. It brings, um, brings viewers uh, to their TV pictures and, and it actually adds to what people do. It's true, TV viewing figures are up, but the chatter is through the roof. How long before social media calls the shots in the multimedia Olympic world? David Eads, BBC News at the Olympic Park.